Well, hello everyone, Kevin here, and I want to welcome you to this Gobbler's Roost Adventure. Uh, today, as you can see, it's another wintry day, so I'm in the Gobbler's Roost, and I have a small project here that I'm going to be working on. Um, oh, a while back, I, I acquired this uh, beat-up old powder flask. Uh, as you can see, it's banged up pretty good. Um, I don't have no idea how old it is. I don't know anything about powder flasks. I've always owned powder horns in the past, but, oh, I got it, and I thought it was kind of cool, and when I got to looking at it, I realized um, that it wasn't airtight. The seams... When you open it up, you can look inside and you can see through the seams. Actually, at some point, you can see it right here. Uh, someone tried to repair it in the past. Um, when I look at it, I don't know how long ago, but uh, someone had obviously taken this collar off and tried to solder it. Not very well. <laughs> And then apparently they drilled some holes in it and put in these copper pins. Well, I got to thinking I didn't know if I could use it or or whatever. Um, trying to figure a way to repair it. And then my friend, my buddy, Brian, over at Poverty Hill Adventures, uh, he suggested that I, oh, that I seal it with, I just happen to have a whole box of it here, that I seal it with beeswax. And I thought, oh, that was a pretty good idea. I could melt a little bit of beeswax and dribble it in along the seams, and that'll seal it up, and I won't lose any powder. My powder won't get wet. It'll seal it good. Um, I think what I'm also going to do along the way is I think I'm going to clip those pins on the inside. And I don't know if they really need to be there. Um, it's not, I'm not going to use it very heavily. Um, but I do want to fix it up. So that's my project for today. I'm going to put some beeswax to fill the gaps in this powder flask. If you're interested, come on along. Now... One thing I, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about powder flasks. Uh, one thing I noticed with it is right up there on the spout, there seems to be some kind of gauge. It says uh, two and a half, two and a quarter, and two and a third. Um, I had to use it with my magnifying glass. It's in drams. Um, but I measured out the spout on, uh, how much powder the spout holds. Um, because, uh, you open it like that and then you close it off and you have a pre-measured, uh, amount there. And it holds, uh, 50 grams of powder, 50 grams of FFG. So that'll work good for me. So I'm going to seal this up. Now, I got the beeswax from my pal Brian over at Poverty Hill Adventures. Uh, this is what I have left. This is about half of what I got from them. I traded with them for the beeswax many years. And I've used this on many projects. Uh, the biggest project I use it on, and I think this is what I, I can't... Totally remember. It was a while ago, but I think uh, what I traded for him with was uh, I made him a gourd canteen. Now, I used to grow a huge garden, and several years ago I grew a lot of these gourds. And it's a simple canteen. You cut the top off, you weave the basket and the strap that goes on, you get a corn cob, that's your plug. And you line the whole thing with beeswax, and it's waterproof and holds water very well. And uh, it's great for drinking, 
Yeah, the beeswax doesn't affect the water one bit. Makes an awesome canteen. So, anyways, I traded the beeswax from Brian. I've used, like I said, I've used it on several projects, and now I'm going to use it to seal this powder flask. Now, uh, as I said, turn it down a little bit. I don't think I'm going to need much heat. Um, well, that did get hot pretty quick. I, I don't think I'm going to need much, so I'm just going to use these scraps that I have here. I guess I should have pre-burned the can. Got the last little bit in there. Come on, I want Ollie out. Okay, we're almost totally melted in there now. A little bit more to go. Okay, I think we're good. Set that down. Okay, the can is hot, but this is cool, so it should should uh, seal it pretty good, I think. I'm just going to dribble it in along the side. Oh, I can see it dribbling right out. It might not seal it. Maybe we've got to let that cool down a little bit. Okay, we got our wax melted, and I think I need to let it cool down a little bit. Um, my first attempt at pouring it in, it came out through the seam and onto my workbench. I think while I let that cool down and thicken up a little bit, I think I'm going to clip these pins out of here. Okay, there's one. There's two. And there's three. See, it opens up much more in there. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, I don't know how long ago that repair was made, but well, I think the person that did it made a, made a good attempt. For some reason, the solder didn't take other than that little point right there. But... Okay, our can is cooling down a little bit. I'll pick it up with my pot holder and we'll drizzle some in there and see how well it does. Well, that one bad. It came out there. Uh, 
Oh, that's still pretty hot. It's warming the, it's warming this up pretty good. I didn't expect that. I thought the flask would cool down the beeswax. Ah, that looks pretty good. Well, there you have it. It uh, filled all the seams all the way around. It also filled the seams in along the collar here. Yeah, I think that'll work pretty fine. I'm Kevin, and I want to thank you for coming along on this Gobbler's Roost Adventure.